Hello, everyone. I'm Mr. Emman So. Uh, today, I would like to talk about the HKDSD sample paper, Mathematics Compulsory, Paper 1, Session B, Question 16. Please with this message, as this is the foundation of the whole series of this video. If we have enough, no, no, no. If you have enough time, we can go on. Otherwise, please pause the video. Okay, look at the scenario of the question 16. Uh, this is talking about choosing teachers from school A and school B. For part A, we need to choose um, two teachers from school A. Only two teachers from school A. Uh, All together, we need to choose four teachers. Let's see how we do it. Because this is talking about probability, then I have to give you the definition of probability. For me, probability would be something like this. This is talking about a fraction. For the denominator, this is the total events. For the numerator, this is the favorable events. In our case, the favorable events must be the total uh, number of ways to choose four teachers from nine. In fact, we are talking about uh, 9C4, that means we are talking about combinations. For 9C4, we have 126 combinations. That means we have 126 ways to choose 4 teachers from 9. What about the denominator, the favorable events? To calculate the favorable events, we have to do it in two parts. First of all, we have to choose two teachers from A, that is uh, choosing two from five. In another words, this is five C two. Then we have 10 combinations. Similarly, if we need to choose uh, another two teachers from school B, we are talking about four C two. There are six combinations, and all together we have 60 combinations. Well, if you are not familiar with NPR permutation and NCR combinations, then let's review a little bit. I have already put down the formula of permutation and combination here. Then you may say, wow, they are, they are very horrible. I don't know how to memorize and I don't know how to use this. Okay. Let's try, let's do a little bit uh, explanation here. NPR is, at the end of the day, talking about some numbers times together, and that's all. How many numbers? Okay, we have our number times together. I will show you in here. Now, R is talking about numbers. If we say, 5p2, that means we have two numbers times together. The first number is n, so in our case, if n is replaced by 5, so the first number is 5. 5 times 4, that's two numbers. And 9p4 is talking about four numbers times together. The first number is 9, so those four numbers are 9, 8, 7, 6. This is permutation. Combination. Combinations is just a little bit different with permutations. You can see there are a little R factorial in here. What does we mean N factorial? N factorial means N sky Q up. And similarly, R factorial means R guys Q up. So uh, if you understand the relationship between permutation and combination, then the calculation would become easier. Now. Let's do a little bit more examples here. Again, we have 5 and 2, but we replace uh, C for P. So we have combination uh, 5, C, 2. Combinations and the differences between combinations and permutation is we have the same group of people to choose. However, the order of choosing the people are different. If we count the order of choosing people or choosing things, we are talking about permutation. If we 
if we uh, don't count the orders of choosing, then we are talking combination. And the R factorial actually is the order. When we divide uh, permutation by orders or R factorial, then we have combination in here. Uh, on the other hand, we can say whenever we have combination, we just times the order of each combination, we will have permutation. If you cannot understand at this moment, it's fine because I will show uh, alternatives, alternative alternative method in later on alternative methods okay so as you can see the um, uh, the answer of question 16 part a in here so we go to our second method the second method is here now I just changed the total events from combinations to permutations. That means I count the orders. Then, what is the change in the denominator, the favorable events or results in here? Now, we have 60 combinations. That means we have 16 groups of people. When we are asked to choose four teachers from nine, and each group of teachers, that means we have four teachers in each group. The orders are counting by this. For the first place, we have four choice, choices. And the second place, we have three choices. The third place, we have two choices. For the final place, we only have one choice left. Actually, we are talking about four times three times two times one. That is four factorial. So, is one combination we have 24 or 4 factorial permutation for 16 combination we need to times 4 factorials to calculate all the combination uh, sorry all the permutation we have let me show you how do i find out those uh, 24 permutation here first of all i just do first layer of permutation. That means I use two A's and two B's, and then I list all the permutation in here. And then I can find out the 24 permutation from four teachers by putting a little bit, uh, a little one and two under uh, each A and B. Okay, you may find it is difficult for you at first however take your time to read it through and discuss with your teachers discuss with your classmate you may master it later on don't try to rush now because this is the first time you see uh, the permutation in this presentation you may not master it so take your time i also have the third method to show you How does this work? Okay. Now, as I said before, I'm doing two layer of counting to find out this 24 permutation before I do it once again. But this time I only uh, queue up two groups. That means I have six queues formed by two groups. There's this AABB, ABAB, ABBA, blah, 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 blah. So I just concentrate on each calculation. For the first place, we need to choose, uh, we have five choices. However, because I just said in this permutation, uh, the first place is reserved for teachers from school A, so I have five choices. Okay. The second place, I still reserve it for school A, so I have four teachers to choose from school A. However, for the first place, even though I still have seven teachers left, however, I reserve the place for school B. So it is four. And then for the final place, I have six teachers left and three of them are from school B. 
Okay, I do the calculation one by one, and this is for you. And you can see each calculation under each Q is still permutation. Okay, because five times four obviously is talking about permutation. Okay, so we have six six Qs in here. We have six uh, permutation in here, and each permutation under Q is still permutation. So uh, I just use six times uh, each calculation to find the final answer in here. So I have conclude session. A or part A, sorry, I conclude 16A in here. So look at the part B of the questions. The question is talking about uh, the probability which choosing um, teachers from both school must not be the same. They must be a different number. I show you all the possibility in here. Okay, the total events is in here. Uh, if I have zero uh, teachers from school A, then I have four teachers from school B. If I have one A, then I have three B. Two A's and two B is not allowed because it is the same number. And then three A, one B, four A, and zero B. So in fact, it is easier to count the probability, to calculate the probability, if we just eliminate eliminate 2a and 2b from overall event that means we are doing one minus uh, probability of same number in order to find the probability of different numbers that is shown in here we are using the result of a to calculate uh, the part b all right Okay, thank you for your attention here. If you have any problem, you can take a photo and email to me to uh, emmonso18 at hotmail.com. Okay, as you can see, I got some typo in here. I will fix this now. Let me do it now. Oops. Here you are. Okay, I have to say goodbye now.